Hey there folks, today I bring you an OU battle against Malthros of Smogon. As you may have noticed, my team is newly revised, and I am actually quite satisfied with how this configuration performs on Pokemon Showdown. Um, I have Mega Venusaur as my Mega, uh, and then I have I still have Sylveon um, and uh, Aegislash. I now have a Rotom Wash. And then in the last two slots, I have a Talonflame, which is actually a really neat Pokemon to have. And then for setting up rocks, I have replaced my Excadrill with a um, Terrakion. Notice I do not have a Spinner, which you might be like, Antar, you have a Talonflame, you need a Spinner. But that's not actually true. You don't need one with Talonflame. And as you'll see, my Talonflame actually works out fairly well against him. Well, you'll see later. Anyway, um... Ferrothorn was a very excellent switch out there, but it's just a wasted... Well, it's not a wasted turn. It's a good turn anyway, but I do get the, you know, I do get the switch out into Motoko uh, as he sets up his Stealth Rocks. So now Stealth Rocks are up, and Talonflame will take 50% of damage upon switching in, but 50% is not 100%, and it's actually quite easy to keep Talonflame above 50%. So I go for the Shadow Ball here. I was kind of hoping I would do more damage, but I didn't, and uh, he's going to recover health with Leech Seed, and he's obviously going to protect next turn, so I need to switch out. Um, my uh, my Venusaur does not have Hidden Power uh, Fire, which would make it the best switch out here, but uh, I, maybe I should put Hidden Power Fire back on Rotom Wash. I know I have a build somewhere with Hidden Power Fire. Anyway, I have Isaac uh, go for close combat. It is a Life Orb uh, Terrakion, and uh, it takes Life Orb damage. But, you know what, I think that Life Orb, I will be able to two-hit KO this Quagsire. And he's not going to want to switch into anything else because no one else wants to take uh, close combat. So, two hits done, and that is a dead Quagsire, and that is a Pokemon that could have been quite annoying. Um, now, maybe you could argue that I would have been better off switching out into Venusaur there, uh, but... So I go now out actually in, uh, into Venusaur here. It's named Titan Arum. You should Google what a Titan Arum is. It is totally awesome. And I'm like, yes! Okay, I'm going to Mega Evolve. Because free Mega Evolve, easy. And I'm going to put this thing to sleep with a sleep powder as long as it doesn't miss. I should be fine. And he's got the sub. It's a sub Bisharp. I'm not sure how common substitute is on Bisharps. I can tell you that before this match I hadn't really seen Bisharps use sub. But I feel like I could have played smarter anyway. Um, actually, there was no way to play smarter. This is... I actually don't have any... I, I, I was about to say I don't have any good counters for Bisharp, but that is so not true. Rotom Wash is an excellent, excellent counter for Bisharp because it uh, can easily break the sub. Um, it's physically... I believe my build... Actually, my build is specially defensive, but it's bulky enough that it can take hits quite well as long as they don't let it set up to plus six. I think it's at plus four right now, and I was just trying to break this up. I was just trying to break this up here. And now I'm like, well, crap, this thing has set up on me, and it could very, very well sweep my team, and I have played very foolishly. Very, very foolishly. So I go out now into Isaac, I think he might do the Sucker Punch, um, he also might not. Uh, he actually goes for the sub, and that sucks. And so I'm thinking maybe he's not gonna, he might not go, he might not have the balls to go for the Sucker Punch, because I do have the Justifier. And so I go for the Earthquake here, and it's going to break his sub, and he, you notice he didn't go for the Sucker Punch. That's excellent. That's totes excellent. Uh, and now he's going to go for the Iron Head and KO uh, Isaac. And I did not even get a chance to set up my rocks. Um, so that's sad. Ah, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> uh, so now I go out into Stravinsky. What I wanted to name uh, the, my uh, this guy was not Stravinsky, it was... Um, what was it? Igor Tsarevich, but that doesn't quite fit. Not Igor. Ivan Tsarevich. Just kidding. So yeah, Sucker Punch. Um, so yeah, why would I go for a move that's not uh, that's resisted? Because it annihilates Sucker Punch, and that was awesome. Um, I could have gone for the Roost, I guess, but uh, whatever. The point is I have to put enough pressure on this Bishop that I can actually conceivably take it out. And I don't quite take it out here, and I'm going to die to an Iron Head, even though I resist it. Stravinsky did not show off its awesomeness in this battle. Um... Oh, well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. And then I'm like, how am I going to get rid of this Bisharp? So I have to go out into Tachikoma here, and it's either going to go for... The, I think its health is a little too low for the sub, but he did, does go ahead and switch out. Um, then that's fine. Gudra is now going to be out. I think I went... For, I did go for the Willow because I thought he might be too low for... Um, I thought he might his health might be too low to set up a sub. So uh, Gudra is now burned. That Gudra doesn't care if it's burned. Why would Gudra care if it's burned? So I'm going to both switch out here because not a good matchup. 
Um, now I knew I do know that Gutras do often run the sludge wave bomb something sludge something, um, but I still got into Bo because Bo is Bo's actually physically defensive. Um, get, actually goes for the dragon type move, so uh, that was excellent there. Um, so now I am going to just go for the hyper voice. He goes for the sludge bomb, it's sludge bomb, not sludge wave. Uh, it does more than half because I am physically defensive, not specially defensive. Gudra takes a massive amount of damage, but does not die. And now I have to play a little smarter. So Gudra is taking a lot of damage due to the burn, so I'm going to protect stall one turn. Uh, that gets my health a little higher, his health a little bit lower, and I'm going to be playing a few little mind games here to try to take out this Gudro without taking any more damage. So I withdraw bow, I'm not going to go for the double protect, I don't do that unless I absolutely have to. And I go on to Motoko, uh, and I don't, I think they run the Fire Blast sometimes, but I didn't expect him to go for the Fire Blast, and he didn't. So uh, that's excellent, Gudra is now taking itself out with the burn, and that is a dead Gudra, and I barely had to lift a finger. So now I'm just going to use Therothorn, and its health is low enough that I'm pretty sure I can take it out with a Shadow Ball. So I go uh, and I go ahead and use the Shadow Ball, and I'm like, die, Therothorn, and it survives. And I'm like, why? Why? Was that really necessary? Was that super duper necessary that it survived? And now the right move here is just to keep on with shadow, shadow Balls. He might protect, he might not. But um, I was thinking, I don't want Multiclose health to keep going lower and lower, and uh, I also had a fear in the back of my mind that he'd go for like the double, double Protect and get it so he could survive too, but that's not going to happen. So he actually withdraws Ferrothorn here. Um, so had I stayed and gone for the Shadow Ball, then it would have just been resisted by the Tyranitar. So that's fine. Um, Sandstorm gets kicked up, and I am... The right move here, and I think it's the move I do go for, is go for the Will-O-Wisp. He withdraws. Uh, expecting that. Ferrothorn is back out. I go for the Will-O-Wisp. Ferrothorn is going to be burned. Um, it's probably not got any attacking moves. Maybe it has Gyre Ball, but it's not going to use it against Tachikoma. Um, its health goes down. Does not die, though. And But he will die to the Volt Switch. So it means that he has a Switch Initiative, but that's fine anyway. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so that is a dead Ferrothorn. I withdraw back, and I go out back into Motoko. Um, Motoko is now out, and I will see who he sends out. And there are quite a few things that could happen. It's Greninja! Hello Greninja, how are you doing? Um, I go for the King Shield because I want to scout out its set a teeny weeny bit. Goes for the Dark Pulse, that's fine, I don't care. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of damage due to the life of- Oh, the other reason I, I protected was, uh, or, uh, you know what I mean. The other reason I did that was to get a little bit of health back. He goes for the Surf, and I'm like, yes, this is awesome! Um, and now I should have gone for the Shadow Ball, I really should have, um, but instead I took the bait and I went for the Sacred Sword. Uh, I was I actually calc that I could survive the Dark Pulse, so I was thinking he could go for another Dark Pulse and then I would, um, then I would hit him with a uh, Sacred Sword and uh, he would die. Didn't quite work out that way, so I go for another King Shield just to get my health a little bit higher, um, but yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna turn out too well for me. Um, so I'm gonna have to withdraw multiple. So I withdraw. I withdraw and I go out into Titan Aram, which, uh, shouldn't be hit super effectively by any of his moves. The worst he can do is Ice Beam, and you know the thing about Ice Beam is that it's fine because of, um, the ability, uh, to fix that. So it's not super effective. And indeed I survive on 8. I'm like, this is awesome. I go over the Sleep Powder in case he wanted to switch, and it misses! Why? Why, 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 why? Why did it miss? And now Titan Arum is dead. And I should maybe have gone for the synthesis. That might have been the better move. Oh well. Go out into Tachikoma here. Um, and he's going to go for the Grass Knot. Grass Knot against the Rotom Wash is really a stupid move because Rotom is actually super duper light. Uh, that's right, folks. Uh, it's it's actually a super duper lightweight, even when it's in the form of a washing machine. <laughs> kind of weird. But I take out Greninja with a Volt Switch and whatever. Um, yeah, so go back out into Motoko, as he's got two Pokemon out who can hit it super effectively. So, not the best situation, quite obviously, goes out into Tyranitar, and I'm like, well, if I can survive the hit, I can go for the uh, Sacred Sword and probably take it out, maybe. He goes, he, he goes ahead and Mega Balls. Um, he, you know, he didn't have any other Megas, so, um, 
I guess. So he goes for the dragon dance, and I'm like, I think that's... I'm like, haha, you just lost your Tyranitar. Sucks to be you, because I'm going to go for the 4x effective Sacred Sword, and your Tyranitar is going to die, and it survives. I'm like, why? Why? Why does, why does the world hate me? Why? And I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and go for the King Shield. And just in case he decides to attack with a crunch. Maybe he'll attack with a crunch. And he goes for Earthquake. I'm like, okay, fine. You're not stupid. You're not stupid, and uh, I've got no choice here, but to um, try to take it out with a Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak's not good. And I don't have priority on the rest of my team. I get a crit! Thanks, Game Freak. Thanks for the crit. That didn't matter. And Motoko goes down, and I've got two Pokemon now out, and the only way I'm going to win is if he plays Foolishly. I don't think he's going to play Foolishly. And Bo is out, and he's going to go for the crunch, and he's going to hit me with a crunch, and I survive on 43. He did play foolishly, but I played even worse, and I went for the wish. Had I gone for the hyper voice, I mean, could I have won? Well, maybe, actually, I could have won. Yeah, I would say that I could have won. So, um, Bo now dies, and if I not gone for the wish, I could have won. Oh, so why didn't I go for the protect there? Because I knew he could take me out anyway, and I figured maybe he'd go for the dragon dance, and then he would take me out. So it was all a matter of mind games, and I lost the mind games, and I lost the battle because of sadness, of immense sadness. So, great, great game, um, Malthros of Smogon. I doubt you're watching this, but I'm going to actually I'll send you a PM, so you'll probably see this if you want to see it. Uh, folks, I hope you enjoyed this battle. So long.